Hey YouTube, back at it again. Uh, today is a requested video that I have been getting uh, for my Dell PowerEdge R620. Uh, I'm going to explain it in pretty good detail of how it works and how it interconnects with my storage down here. So I did turn it off. So the storage is still running, so I always turn this on first before I boot up the server so that way the disk spin up and talk to the SAS controller in the back of the DAS unit. So a few of you have asked me what I have done to it. Well as you can see, no drives. Even the DVD drive has been turned off. So I haven't pulled this out in a bit. It might be a little bit dusty. Oh yeah, she dusty. Okay. So as you guys can see, there is zero backplane. No storage at this server at all. Uh, for CPUs, these are Intel E5-2620, I think, version 2. I cannot recall. I think they are. But there's two of them. And there is 64 gigabytes of um, DDR3. And they're all 8 gig sticks, identical. And as you guys can see, no storage controller at all. And the cable that runs this way is gone as well. So I pretty much stripped this as much as I could. I mean, if I could ship it anymore, I would. So a lot of people ask me what kind of uh, HPA I use. These actually come from Dell Compellents. And I flashed it with an IT firmware. I think it's version 16. And... Uh, was able to flash it and get able to SAS and SATA drives to uh, boot up off of it and it works awesome. There is four uh, ports, six gigabits each, so it's around 24 gigabits of throughput out of one car, which is a lot of bandwidth combined totally. But I'm only using one uh, connection to it because we have one DAS unit down there, so that's the only difference. I might get a 12 gigabit card for one 12 gig port, but I would have to replace my storage and figure something out. Uh, here is the 10 gigabit card, dual. So we have a 20 gigabit LACP uh, ether channel to my switch, which gives enough bandwidth to, uh, to not have any saturations. My bottleneck is still the discs. Even though if I have SSDs, so I mean, bottlenecks are always going to be the drives. So, yeah, a lot of people have asked me, and the operating system lives right here. So, my FreeNAS is installed on one of those SD cards. And then right here I have an extra SD card that I have, I have multiple of these. And this is how it looks. It's a little, almost like a one by PCI. And it sits in a little PCI slot down there. Kind of hard to see it. And I would do two SD cards mirror it, but I haven't had any issues and the configuration is so easy to export and rebuild on FreeNAS that there's no really issue to have dual SD cards. I mean, if it's a critical system, enterprise production, but I mean, this is a home storage platform for like Plex and stuff, which I have a clone copy of it on my 24 terabyte R720 XD. And this is cold storage, which gets backed up every other week from this storage to that storage and uh, it operates. And this runs Linux. 
running, I think, Ubuntu 18.04. I might rebuild it with maybe a Windows Server to see if I can get more storage efficiency instead of a Linux Volume Manager, but it's kind of hard to say. I mean, it's around 16, 7, 16 and a half terabytes usable. So, um, other than that, here's some more. As you guys can see, all the control cards have been pretty much stripped out for the front back plane for the DVD, the SATA port. Um, so I mean it's been stripped out on purpose just to save as much power as I can for my storage controller. And the power utilization for this roughly is around 110 to 120 watts non-stop. So that actually is pretty efficient for a storage server. But do a little front view again. So yeah, that is a little video for you guys that were asking how it was uh, configured. And um, other than that, I can't think of anything else that I have done to this as much as I could barebone it. I did, but there's some things I had to leave to make it operational. Um, but yeah, total power usage is around 110 to 120 ish watts. Uh, even with the V2 CPUs, is pretty good. And it's, uh, I think it's 1600 megahertz uh, frequency for the RAM total. I can't remember exactly, or 1333, but either one, it actually operates really nice. I've had zero issues with the current version of the new version of, I think, 11.2. Of Freeness. I was thinking of trying different storage platforms, operating systems. I mean, I always wanted to play with Ceph, but I only need multiple of these storage platforms and multiple uh, DAS units with the identical storage or similar to it, because with Ceph it's object. But if any other you guys know any operating systems to play with and to see how it is and test it out, put it in the comments. That'd be kind of awesome to see what others have played with or operate i have done windows server i have done unraid i have done fr currently freeness so anything that's new it's not really well known be awesome to uh, hear about so other than that there's a little update for you guys and uh subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for any other updates